Happy Halloween! Uh, this is our likes and dislikes video. This will be foods that we really liked or we really hated for the month of October. So we're going to dive right in to, we're, we try to get the dislikes over with first at the very beginning so that we can hopefully end on a positive note. Um, we only have four dislikes, which is pretty good. Um, this one it was, I think it was called Altana. I wrote it down on the back. I don't know how they spelled it. It was in a, a box soup box. So we did a box opening and we tried it. And it was given to me uh, by my dad and his wife. Uh, they had ordered it from Amazon and they didn't want it. So they gave it to me, which I thought was very generous. Um, but this stuff, uh, we really liked most of the stuff mm -hmm. in that box. But this tasted like raw shrimp. It was absolutely horrible. So this is something that most of you won't have to worry about anyway. So uh, this though, I'll show you this. This is something that you should know is really, really bad, I thought. Kevin didn't think they were as bad as I did. I didn't think they were good, but they weren't like horrendous. I, I thought they were horrendous. I thought they were just uh, a, a bad excuse for uh, a muffin. And I don't think that any children uh, should be su subjected to these muffins. Yeah. I just thought they were they were just bad muffins. Kind of like, tasted kind of like a dog did step on. Yeah. <laughs> um, you would be better, much better off. The Intamins are good. The Hostess are good. Yeah, little I little just, bites. Yeah, yeah just know that your your kid, you're going to be going down the, the aisle at Walmart. They're going to be in the buggy and they're going to be like, I want those because of the picture. You need to know, let them pick something else because they're not any good. Uh, these are the uh, pumpkin spice granola bar from Trader Joe's. And it's still full. It is. Um, you know, Trader Joe's is one of those things we really like it or we really hate it. It's, yeah. It's really, there is no middle ground with most Trader Joe's no, stuff. <laughs> no, and that's the truth. And Kevin yeah. found these and I said, oh yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. Let's try those. Let's try them. And um, yeah, that was yeah, one of those things. Good. There was no middle, middle ground. We hated that. We hated the whole combination of that bar. I thought it was horrible. And these are the gold emblem um, confetti batter, confetti cake batter. Um, cookies. Which is CVS brand. Yeah. They were terrible. They were, I had to check the date when we were doing the review <laughs> yeah. because I thought, I thought surely to goodness these expired a long time ago and lo and behold, they no, did they didn't. They're just that bad. Somebody made them that way. Yeah, they're very, very, very bad. And taste testers, you know, tasted them and said, oh, these are really good. Mm -hmm. And they were horrible. And we even had comments on that video because we did these and the um, cinnamon roll yeah. cookies in the same video. And somebody said, I wasn't even impressed with the cinnamon roll. No, but they were okay. They, yeah, they were okay. Out of the two, they were terrific compared to these. <laughs> yeah, compared to these, yeah. they were like But I wouldn't gold. buy any of them anymore. <laughs> Um, so do you want to start us out? Uh, looks like there's a lot of stuff over here. We ha actually have the same amount. Oh really? Yeah. These are the Bake Shop Pumpkin Pie Cookies. These uh, were from Aldi. From Aldi. And they were really good. I mean, they, like, they were delicious. I think I finished these off. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I would grab like one a day and just eat it. They were um, absolutely delicious. They were though. really good. And, and I've been impressed with most Aldi stuff. Most mm -hmm. of the Aldi stuff, some of it's not that great, but most of it's pretty decent. Yes, uh, Aldi is, uh, has impressed us uh, very much on mm -hmm. most of their things, especially the baked items. Yeah, I really like their yeah, bakery items. Yeah, their bakery items. items, the breads and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. They've been so good. Uh, we could probably show this one at the same time. Yeah. Uh, we both have a uh, Belmont Peanuts. Mm -hmm. I loved these, it won't come as any surprise. These are the Artisan Butter Toffee Gourmet Peanuts. They're very sweet and I love toffee and so those were right up my alley. And I have the Smoking Hot Barbecue, which they weren't spicy hot. They were, they were spicy, but they weren't that hot. Um, you know what, I was pretty impressed with all the Belmont mm -hmm. Peanuts because I ate like a lot Some <laughs> of them peanuts. Some didn't have as strong as a flavor as we hoped. Right. But, but all of them were good. They were all good. Yeah. The only ones I didn't like from Belmont were the, uh, the, the mixes, like the bar mixes that yes. had like the stuff we bought two like, of mixed those. up together. And I wasn't impressed with those at, I mean, at all. No, we I would, would never pass get on those the bar again. mixes, but the ones that were like particular flavors. Of peanuts. Then we, we liked yeah. them all. Yeah, they were yeah. all really good. 
Um, and then I have the Dewey's Bakery Donut Shop. These are the apple fritter cookies. I, I have only seen these at Whole Foods. And um, after I finished this package, we were in Whole Foods again, and I was so tempted to get another bag because I knew, I thought, I'm not going to see them anywhere else. And I thought, you know what? That's one of those things. We can't have nice things because Tammy eats them all. And that's the truth. I really, these did not last no time at all. And you don't get that many. You get six. You only get six cookies in here. And so. But you wouldn't expect them to last long. You no, but I, I swear I'm thinking I was finished with them the same day that we tried them. Because they're so good and the texture is so phenomenal that I could eat these all the time. And they're just, they're just wonderful. Well, wonderful. Same thing. This one is the, the Great Value Eggnog Ice Cream, and it's the same thing. You can't, I can't have this in the can't house. As a matter of fact, things. we went through the I was it yesterday or day before yesterday, mm -hmm. and I was like, I was standing there looking at it going, I'd really love to have another tub of that, but I, I just but can't. But he can't, I because can't. he knows that if he buys if it. If I'm going to eat half the tub in a setting. Because it's that good. <laughs> it's that good. So if you like eggnog, and you're going to go to Walmart near you, get it, because I think you really, I mean, it's literally like frozen eggnog. That's what it is. Um, this is the Sticky Toffee Pudding Company. Mm, those were good. And I'm the one that put, I put the British Sticky Toffee Pudding, uh, the package in here. But we actually liked, there were two of these uh, mm -hmm. desserts in the review. And there was also a chocolate one. Yeah, the chocolate one I actually like better. Kevin liked the chocolate one better. I like the Sticky Toffee Pudding better. I should have kept, honestly, I should have kept both it's packages. Okay, both of them were really good. Because both of them were good. Yeah. They, if you can find these at your Walmart, I said during that video, they're in like, they're near where like the yogurts and stuff like that are. And they're kind of sitting on the shelf to where you might not, um, you might not notice the package sitting there. Mm -hmm. They're phenomenal. I can eat really one good. of those every single day. It is absolutely terrific. And you just microwave them. Yeah, just they're microwave so them and easy. flop it over yes. on a plate and it comes right out. Okay, these are the uh, Atlanta Cheesecake Company, the New York style cheesecake. Very, very good. There was two slices in the box. Um, texture was good, flavor was really good. I mean, just everything about it was really good. There was nothing wrong with it. Right before reviewing these, we had just reviewed the Cheesecake Factory at home cheesecakes mm -hmm. that you buy in the frozen section of Walmart. Now this Atlanta Cheesecake Company, we bought those at Meyer, um, but we had just reviewed the Cheesecake uh, Factory ones. Well, I got a lot of views on the Cheesecake Factory ones, but then I haven't looked in like a week, uh, but I, because I was curious, are people tuning in to this review of those Atlanta Cheesecake? Because the Cheesecake Factory is such a well-known name, and, and it, at that time it was like, oh, I didn't get as many views on the Atlanta Cheesecake. But I've, I wished so much uh, that people had it tuned into that one because those have a better flavor. Mm -hmm. The Atlanta Cheesecake Company, as far as a buy it frozen and take it home and eat it, those have a better flavor the than cheesecake. the Cheesecake Factory ones. And you know the Cheesecake Factory, the real cheesecake you get from them, you get about this much cheesecake and the rest is like whipped cream and flavor. And it's delicious, and it's, especially and if you can get it at the restaurant. Stuff. It's absolutely It is phenomenal. good, but they put a lot of extra stuff. I like just a cheesecake. But for a cheesecake. take home from frozen, yeah. Those I'm are really telling good. you, those were better. So if you have, if you are one of the people who did not watch that video, you might want to watch it because we reviewed, I think, three cheesecakes mm -hmm. in that video as well. And they're all good. And I'm telling you, they are so good. Um, okay, then I have some, uh, I'll show you these. These are Dum Dums, believe it or not, little Dum Dum suckers. And some people told me they don't even eat Dum Dums. Well, those are good. They're awesome. And I tell you, Dum Dums ought to go in the <clears throat> mint making business because a lot of people don't want to eat a sucker. They yeah. don't want to. They don't want to stick. They don't want to look like they're three. They don't want to walk around with a sucker hanging out of their mouth. Uh, 
um, and they really ought to make mints mm -hmm. with these like flavors. round disc instead. Yeah, don't just take the stick off though, because then it's hard to eat that round ball. But they need to change it to like a flat, a flat like a round disc. disc, like a starlight or whatever. Right, like, like a, a yeah, peppermint. a butterscotch yeah, or peppermint. Like yeah, this had lemon, caramel apple, cotton candy, tea, s'mores, funnel cake, banana split, and a strawberry milkshake, and they had some mystery flavors in there awesome they were absolutely they were awesome good. and if they could somehow make them sugar-free uh that would even be better uh they were very very good uh, another them. another ice cream item for me is the blue bunny mini swirls this is the chocolate peppermint crunch i ate all those as well um i would eat these like um for dinner i would eat these like i would eat dinner and then this would be a sweet dessert. after left like dessert um, they were just really good and they you have to eat them over the paper though because they do have that cookie Crumbies. crumble and it falls all over the place but it had a good coating on the outside of that and then you get the good cold ice cream and the cones are really good too um, so yeah they, they were just really good good peppermint I, I have a few a uh, few Trader Joe's things I'll show you one at a time these are the ketchup flavored spud crunchies mm -hmm. they are seasoned they potato good. snacks they taste just like ketchup yeah. if you like ketchup if you're already taking uh, french fries and dipping them in the ketchup and you just like that flavor of ketchup these are for you and mm -hmm. I'm not a huge ketchup person when I get french fries at Culver's I don't ever 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 add ketchup to them because I like the flavor of the fries themselves but these are phenomenal they're terrific and I really mm -hmm. appreciate the ketchup flavor in these mm, so those, those are worth buying at Trader Joe's mm -hmm. And then these were uh, churro bites from Trader Joe's. They and good. they were just a really great uh, sweet combination of cinnamon and sugar. And they're, they're like cheese puffs. Yeah. The texture. And we have reviewed things like this before. Kroger has their own, um, I don't know if it's under their private selection brand, but we reviewed them way back. And they have like a maple. It made a favorites video a long time ago. There were like three different flavors. And these remind me of those. They, they're, they're just absolutely terrific, and you, you just pop them in your mouth, and they're easy to eat, and you want to eat half the bag. I would buy these all the yeah, time. They were really, really yeah. good. Yeah. All right, so these are a recent thing. Uh, these are a little Dutch-made uh, pumpkin spice cookies, and I think there's still some up in the cabinet. Like I said, this is fairly new, uh, very recent, and we tried it. Um, they were just really good, and they still are. They're still really good, and I've eaten them three or four times since then. And they're in a Ziploc bag because these are not resealable. Yeah, they're not bags. resealable, so I just pulled the package yeah. out and put them in a Ziploc. Um, but yeah, really good pumpkin spice flavor. They're really sweet too, so they're not like spicy pumpkin spice, but they're they're just sweet. They're just really good. And somebody in the comments even referred to them as cheap little cookies. They, they are I cheap, think they are cheap but they're so good. But they have a good yes, flavor to them, they have a and they're softer. Flavor. The cookie itself is softer than like an Oreo. Oreos are all, unless you get the golden ones, are always, the chocolate ones are bitter. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, I just don't, I don't, I don't know rule. I mean, Oreos are okay. And if you don't have anything else next to them to compare them to, they're really good. But if you get some of these other cookies, the sandwich cookies that are so much softer and so much sweeter, then, then you're like, well, Oreos kind of suck. <laughs> um, okay, this is the uh, Nature's Path Organic Grain-Free Granola. This is the Caramel Pecan. My sister turned me on to this. Uh, she uh, found this at Costco, and then I ordered the other ones offline. Uh, but I have seen some flavors in Kroger uh, in the cereal aisle, so that's a good thing. But I use this to put on top of yogurt, and I yeah, buy vanilla, vanilla yogurt. yogurt. I buy the Dan and Light and Fit vanilla, and this is, it's, it's like a dessert. It truly is. Um, it is terrific, so try that. Um, these are her wrap snacks. These are the Wavy Cardi B Jerk Barbecue, and they, we you didn't say the other one. Um, she also has another one, uh, Cardi B does, that is like cheese or something. But regardless, they're, um, they're just really good. Mm -hmm. The flavors are really good. I think I ended up eating all these too for uh, like a dinner time. I would put them we in both my plate. like those though. Yeah, they were really good. So the, the Cardi B, Wrap snacks are really good. Now they've got some other ones that, that are okay and some of them right. are really bad. And But some the Cardi B ones, I don't most, think all of them have been good. Most of the wrap snacks we've really liked and yeah. we have been impressed lately because our Walmart has got a couple of them. Has actually started yeah. selling wrap snacks. Matter of fact, the Walmart near us has the wrap snacks. I'm talking about the cheese ones. 
ones that taste really good. They have those. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I didn't. Need, I didn't know which ones they had. I just mm -hmm. know over next to the registers, uh, they have the wrap snacks, and I think maybe even in the back they might have uh, yeah, some. Um, They're all small bags like that. I've been impressed that uh, you know before. I guess it was a smaller, at least in our area, it was a smaller company to where they couldn't compete with the other like Lay's, and now they have them right up front with all the other the big name companies. So I think that's great. Um, I'm going to show you these. I did not do a review of these. I just, I bought them. I have bought several of the Outshine bars. I bought uh, Raspberry, which I really like. Um, I've tried the Tangerine. I really like those. Um, mm -hmm. I like the Lemon a lot. I like the Grape a lot. But my all-time favorite is the Pineapple. These are absolutely delicious. And what I like about them is because none of the other ones that I just named have chunks in them. But like actual fruit. Like actual fruit. This actually has little hunks of the pineapple. So the only negative thing that I could say about these is they don't last as long. Because when you have a solid block of grape ice, it's going to take you a little while to work your way through that. These, because they do have hunks of pineapple, it's easier to, to bite it off. But I love taking my teeth. It sounds awful. I love taking my teeth and picking out the pineapple as I get to it, you know. These are just terrific. I love the flavor of the pineapple, but I'm a pineapple person. My favorite fruits are I love pineapple. I love banana, the very best. Um, and I don't know, do they have a banana? I haven't. I, I, I have banana ice cream that we love. The little pints. No, no, no. But I mean these fruit bars. I don't know about the I don't think I've seen a banana. Uh, but I love the pineapple. So you have to know if you like pineapple at all. This actually has little hunks and just uh, five out of five. Terrific. And I've never tried them. No, Kevin has not tried them. Um, okay, so these are the Chakur uh, pumpkin spice flavored yogurt covered pretzels. And these were Aldi, weren't mm -hmm. they? Uh, I thought that was the Aldi brand. Uh, these were excellent. The The quality of the, the chocolate was good or the covering, whatever they were, yogurt. Uh, that was really good quality. The, the textures were good. The flavors were really good. Had a little salt to them. And uh, anyone that crunch. has commented that yeah. has bought those um, has said they're terrific. Yeah. All, all the comments oh, really? were like, yes, that, oh, that they awesome. really enjoyed them. So um, now I'll show you this. This is the Mrs. Fields. We have only seen these in Tuesday morning. And actually, it was only, we have two Tuesday mornings in Lexington. This was only at one of our Tuesday mornings. So that just shows you, you can't just go in one and think you've seen it all because these were in the other one. Um, and all those Belmont peanuts too. Mm -hmm. They were in one and not. They as, have a few in the other one. But not as not many. As many. But they had like uh, several, like three different of these Mrs. Fields, and I just chose one uh, because I thought one would let me know if it was good quality, and this was terrific. It was, really good. Um, it was easy to make, and the flavor was terrific. It was three, it was four dollars. So I do think that's a little bit pricey, but to know that you're spending four dollars on something that you're really gonna like. Um, you know, that makes know, a big difference. That that's not that much more expensive than most of the cookie baking mixes. Not really. I guess not. I don't know. I thought they were cheaper than that. Okay, so these are the uh, Frosted Mini Wheats, the Little Bites, the chocolate ones. And I finished this box off. Um, they, uh, the flavor of these uh, were better than any of the other Mini Wheats we tried. And the chocolate ones just had a really good chocolate flavor. And it kind of, the, the shredded wheat itself is good, but it's kind of bland. So um, this cover, the chocolate really covered up a lot of that the shredded wheat kind of flavor and just made them really good. So excellent. If you haven't tried these, try them out. And the more of those you eat, the more you keep you keep wanting to yeah. eat more of them. And these are the little bites, so they're even smaller than the mini wheats, um, which I really like because they're just little bitty squares and they were perfect size for, for milk. This was a no-bake Oreo dessert. Uh, we found this, I'm pretty sure, at Walmart. And uh, I think we did three, I did three videos, and these were delicious. I really like these. They, it was easy to make, 
and the flavor of it, it, it had a nice, um, it was a nice balance. You got the flavor of the Oreo and you, mm -hmm. you also got that flavor of the cream in the middle. Super sweet. Very, very sweet. And they turned out, they were pretty, you know, they, they, they look nice. And so this was an all around uh, really good dessert. So that was one of mine. All right, this is another cereal. This is the Millville. Um, this one's the peanut butter and jelly puffs. We've had a lot from and Aldi. This is Aldi. This yeah, we went yeah. shopping at Aldi and bought a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, but this was really good. It had a really good peanut butter flavor, and you get a little hint of the jelly-like flavor too. So, and they were just they were just really good cereal. I mean, there's not much else to say about them. They were just if you haven't tried them yet, um, try them out. I think you'll like them. We've done a lot of reviews uh, recently on cereals, and those would be my favorite. Yeah, that's definitely up there. Yeah. Um, the last thing that I have is from the United Kingdom. Uh, these are Oreo, and they are Cadbury-coated Oreos. And I loved them. I thought they were delicious. I know Kevin kind of talked about Oreo in the beginning. Oreo by themselves, they're good. They're just kind of got a bitterness to them. But these, because they're coated with a Cadbury chocolate, they were, it gave them, uh, added a sweetness. It gave it another a layer to sink your teeth into. And then you get to that cookie in the center. Just absolutely delicious. I would be buying these all the time if I lived in the UK. And the last thing I have uh, for regular review, the, is it Bonnie? Bon Maman? Bon, I don't know. Bon Maman? I just whatever. say, I'm sorry. <laughs> they're, they're soft and fruity traditional French uh, candies. They're French. We don't speak. So French. they're like little jelly candies is what they are with the sugar coating on the outside. I ended up eating a lot of these. Not, I didn't eat all of them, but I did eat a lot, um, a bunch of them, probably half. Um, and the, my favorite was the apple, but all of them were really good. Someone so, said when they saw that video, they said that they knew that that would end up being one of your favorites. You know what though? I really, believe it or not, like the apricot a lot too though. Mm -hmm. The apricot was like probably one of my, my second flavor. My they least, were all good. The least there was already the orange, but, but all of them were really good. So if you, you see these, where did they come from? Costco? Costco. Jason bought them in So Costco. we don't have them in our Costco, or at least last time we went, we didn't have them in our Costco. But um, if you go into your Costco and, and see these, these would make a cool little, uh, they're individually wrapped candies too. So you could uh, put them in a uh, dish or something like that. Too. Yeah, it work. Keep it at work on yeah. your desk. Okay, so the last two things I have were lunchtime review. And if you don't know, I've got a lunchtime review channel. Um, if you look for lunchtime review, you'll see tons of them. Um, one of them is the Caesar's Kitchen. It's the chorizo sausage mac and cheese with hatch and um, calab calabran chilies. And um, I gave this one, to I write it down? Usually I'll write it down when I gave it. I didn't write it down. So I probably gave it a four or five. I can't remember. But I remember this being, um, having a really good um, cheesy macaroni flavor, but also had a spice to it because the peppers and the chorizo and stuff mm -hmm. just really gave it a good um, good amount of heat, but not so hot you couldn't eat it. But it was it was hot. I had, It was spicy. But I liked it because it also had that pepper flavor too. So these are really good. And then the other one was the Devour All Day Breakfast Double Sausage and Bacon Loaded Tots. And this one I did write a number on there. Um, a five. Is that a five? With the circle around it? That's a five. Okay. I gave this a five. Um, most of their all-day breakfast, I think I've tried, I've tried a bunch of their all-day breakfast. All the ones I've tried so far, I've really liked. So if you see any of the Devour brand all-day breakfast ones and it sounds interesting to you, you're safe to try them because they're really good. So he he does frozen type foods or, or uh, sandwiches or something like that four days a week. Like and then, prepared food. And then one day a week he'll go out to eat. And so this month you ate at five different places. One of the videos is coming out this afternoon because this video is the end of the month. And so this happens to be a Thursday. Thursdays is always the, the day. If you're only interested in when he goes out to eat, it's, it's every Thursday. So uh, the, uh, you'll get to find out right now what the video will be for this afternoon. Uh, on the, uh, the third, you ate at Giovanni's. You ate the big red steak sub with fries. <laughs> I knew that was coming. That was horrible. That was the worst thing. That was the worst eat, out to eat food I've ever had in my life. Really? It was fr it was like they got it out of the freezer and just microwaved. It. I kept I mean, telling him, awful. I said, you have to try Giovanni's. We have Giovanni's. I think if I tried pizza or something like that, it would have been better. But that sandwich, I, th I thought I would try, oh, it's pizza, you know, whatever. Everybody eats pizza. I thought I'd try a sandwich. Something different. Yeah, their sandwich, it's just the meat was literally something you'd buy at Walmart and heat up. I mean, it was just awful. You just were not impressed. Yeah, it was just horrible. And for then, as much as you pay for it, that it was sad. 
It really was. Um, and if you want to see any of these, of course, go over to the Lunchtime Review channel and check it out, and you can actually see the food. Um, on the 10th, you had Arby's Beer Cheese Triple Stack. Okay. And I think some people are confused, and they think when they hear beer cheese, somebody left the comment, I don't drink. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's got beer in it as you a you would never know it's got so little in it you would that, never you know. ever it really ever. just it's really just a texture thing children eat their cheese yeah children it eat it. it doesn't have enough beer in it to do anything. okay and then on the 17th you ate uh, kfc you did the wings you did the honey barbecue i, get, I wonder if that could be a trigger if you're an alcoholic though. in the nashville hot beer cheese well, it has a beer it but, has a touch but of you beer really don't but, well just a touch i don't know i don't know anyway i'm sorry what did i eat that's a good that? question KFC wings, honey okay. barbecue, buffalo, and Nashville right. hot. Then you had Dickie's barbecue pit. You did the two meat plate. Right. And then today, the video that's coming out, it's a local place. It's called Gonsa's. It's Gonsa's Deli. And he had an inside out hot brown. And then he had, you had macaroni salad on the side. Yeah, so let me see your list. So there's the list. Okay, well, we know which one my deli favorite was. Giovanni's. I, I, I will be hard pressed to ever go there again, truthfully. Um, to even get like a buffet. Even to get anything. Yeah. It, and it seemed like when I remember their pizzas, the pizzas were really all like Andrew said he should have known better than to go there because Andrew used, Andrew to, used work to work there. there yeah. Andrew used to work there. Andrew worked there for a, yeah, like was, that was, wasn't his first job. That was probably like his second, second job. Second job, I think. Yeah. Um, it's really hard. I'm, I'm, the Dickies was just okay. It really, the meat was literally, I could have made that meat at home in a crock pot. I mean, literally that was, it wasn't anything. Um, it didn't taste like smoked anything. Um, the Arby's was really, really good. Uh, well, the sandwich I had to, um, at Gonsa's was really good too, though. Ooh. This was a hard one because I had some really good stuff. Well, the, they're so different. And they're, they are so, you talk about diverse. There's well, a diverse food. You could have a tie. My, one of my favorites was the KFC, the Nashville Hot absolutely loved it my lips were on fire my eyes were watering but i loved them they were so good because somebody said they didn't like crispy chicken wings and it's like that was the best part of them is that they were crispy they weren't right. this like um soggy floppy skin on the outside they were like a, a breaded crispy breading on the outside yeah. and someone else said that because i couldn't figure out how they were flavored because uh they look it looked like there was this greasy stuff in there mm. they said it's, it's an oil Oh, so Nashville, like common? It, and, yeah, it's, okay. a, it's an oil. See, I do read your comments. Um, it's an oil they put them on. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense why it was kind of greasy at the bottom. But those were like, that's probably the best, some of the best flavored chicken I've had in a mm -hmm. long time. I like crispy chicken too. I don't want floppy. Yeah, when you eat just a regular like wing, yeah. they get the, just the skin on the outside. And they're yeah. kind of sloppy and they got all this barbecue sauce and crap on them. It's just yeah. nasty. I like, um, yeah, I like crispy. Nashville hot were good. So anyway, if I had to go to KFC and get wings, Nashville hot if you like hot food. No, not even a question about it. Um, that Gonza sandwich was really, really good, but I have to say probably, ooh, the Arby's was good too though. I'm gonna actually say the KFC was probably my favorite out of the bunch. No, the, I think that's The Nashville great. hot. Yeah. And, and the honey barbecue ones are really good too. I didn't like the buffalo just because they were, they were so, um, so messy. And they were just hard to eat, and that's all I tasted was the buffalo sauce. You couldn't, you couldn't even taste the chicken. I mean, that's how much that strong this buffalo he sauce. He actually was. took a package of baby wipes with him. Yeah, the but car. they gave me, they gave me tons. Though. I'm glad. Yeah, he I, gave, they I gave me a stack of them. I just put it in my glove box. Well, he did order reason. three. I did order enough wings for three different wings. people, yeah. and I ate almost all of them. <laughs> 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 I ate all the Nashville hot, all the bar, the buff, the honey, and I ate half of the buffalo right i couldn't I no i think that's good that that's yeah. his favorite because so that's that something really that good. you all can actually go yeah. and get whereas like the gonsa's review that's coming out today unless you're in this that's area local. Yeah. you know that's local and that's local to literally winchester not kentucky yeah. that's local to winchester so um that is a place where um I used to go as a kid. It used to be in a different location. It used to be like... It was a deli in a grocery store. In a grocery right? store, yeah. And you would go in this grocery store and you could get the sandwiches. And they've changed over the years. Mm -hmm. They've changed, uh, you know, like the brand of pepperoni they use is different. The brand, the kind of bread, that changed. Um, so things have changed. 
but that is a local place. So I think it's nice that you, yeah, for your KFC's number one, good. Yeah. anybody, I but, mean, they even have KFC in United Kingdom. Oh, yeah. I don't know how long it'll be before you get the wings, but... but do you don't have, think they have wings there? I don't know. They might. No. I don't know. I don't know if it's an international push or if it's just a Oh, that's right, because those were new to KFC. Yeah, they, they were brand new. Because you would think that KFC's a chicken place. You would think that they've always had wings, and these yeah. are... Well, they, they've had wings. It's not flavored that. wings. Yeah, not like, flavored. Okay. Uh, but I do want to say that Arby's, the beer cheese triple stack, was really good. I do have to say it was a huge sandwich, though. It's really, really big. Uh, it was really messy, and uh, but it was the flavors were really good. I don't think the beer cheese really came through as well as it could have because I've had some other sandwiches that had like pimento cheese on them or beer cheese on them and on cheeseburgers and stuff, and they were they the like flavors a &W. the flavors were just stronger in those. Nothing's the, ever going to beat that A and W. That was a pimento cheese. Pimento cheese. That was awesome. That was he, a good burger. He loved it. That was a good burger, and I've thought about making one at home, but I haven't. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna stick with the, the KFC. So that is it for the month. I hope you do uh, go over to Kevin's Lunchtime Review channel. Uh, the videos are usually posted our time. It comes out at 12.30 Eastern, um, Eastern time. And um, <coughs> so I hope you, you will check that out. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And we will see you at the end of November. Happy Halloween.